David uh, Yates and, of course, the producers have been uh, very uh, supportive uh, of it, and it's been just great fun, really, being, uh, being able to, sh to to illustrate a different side of uh, of a character who's, who comes across as quite two-dimensional in the respect of he's just a, not a nice guy, and that's the end of it. It's not so. Here is a, there's a lot more of a story behind it, I think, and it, I I revel in the chance to, to to illustrate it, really, to show it, and. Uh, I think me and I think David and I have had great fun sort of talking about where he is in each individual scene in mind state and what's he thinking and and uh, and all the rest of it. So it certainly gives you a lot more uh, a lot more a lot more things to play with really. So and uh, it gives you more control and more input. So it's been a lot a lot of fun. I think being Malfoy being by himself, uh, especially without his father, uh, to sort of back him up, so to speak. It definitely shows a more vulnerable side of him, and I think in previous years he's come across as a very confident and cocky, uh, very very self-confident person. Whereas this film really gives an opportunity to see he's not, and he, if anything, he's much weaker than he ever uh, shows out. And if there were probably if there ever was a battle between young Harry and Draco, I think it's pretty evident in this film that uh, Draco is not quite the uh, the he-man that he wishes he was. <laughs>